Welcome back. Um, we're about to get into Alesh versus Sixo here for the uh, last of the first round of the playoffs. And we'll soon have our uh, our semi-finalists. Yes, we have three so far. Orange, Maverick, Ostkaka, and uh, the winner from this match. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, our choice isn't here because you know, what we do is we have the, uh, the the food break thing going on. Yeah. yeah. He has some really nice food. I couldn't see it, but it smelled delicious. Yeah, I think it's uh, Toy Day's mom comes in and cooks for everyone. Oh, that's so sad. And, and Artosis and that I get like it. special privilege. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, right. you two are special. Special, yeah. but you're you're extra special because he just yeah. take more yeah, precautions. Yeah, Artosis is special, but I'm more special. <laughs> How are you more special? Well, he's ve he's vegetarian. I'm, I'm vegan. So oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, she has to create like three separate things. <laughs> Uh, just for everybody, wow. but uh, you know they also brought the dog along, the husky. I don't know if anyone actually saw him on camera. They don't, I don't think they showed it during the break, but he's just chilling there, being a really good dog. Yeah, he looks pretty tired. He's like, yeah, whatever. I don't care about him. <laughs> yeah, he probably wants this match to to get over with as soon as possible. Probably yeah. so that way he can see semifinals. We have uh, Lesh versus Sixo, by the way, guys. Yep. Uh, these are uh, two players who I personally think got robbed in the last Itzuri Cup. No offense to Vitz, but like you know, Sixo, of course, I thought he was going to go, maybe even win the whole thing, uh, and then. He obviously got stopped, and then uh, Alesh, I thought he also had played pretty well, but a few unlucky things happened, yeah. and then he got eliminated. But now they're here in the round of eight. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, one thing to know is um, both these players played, like, extremely aggressive decks uh, mm -hmm. in the matches to come, but uh, or in, in matches before these, but because they uh, they had the option and probably brought at least some slower decks, right? Um, we're probably going to see still... A fairly fast match here. Uh, most of them just uh, playing very fine-tuned, aggressive decks, and just you know, three-zero most of their most of their opponents so far. It's within the rules to change all of your decks if you want to for yep. the round of eight. So we could potentially see something completely different, but I think it's unlikely, and most likely yeah, they would right. just stick to what they have. I think Sixo might use Imp Gang Boss to some capacity because that that card is is really fun and effective. Uh, looks like we're going to go into the first game here. Yep. Who do I expect to? Uh, Alesh. Alesh. All right, here we go. Alesh is going to start off on a Druid, and we're going to have 6 0 on Hunter. Oh, well, that's pretty good for 6 0, I would say. Yeah, double mad scientist. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's got a pretty decent curve in the coin. And then, yeah, uh, yeah with, with Hunter, you just need a powerful start, and the Druid has to start trading and never win at that point. Oh, he actually replaced one of the scientists. He wants the 1 2 3. Yeah. That's interesting to me because uh, I mean I don't play that much hunter, so I'm just guessing that like six knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. But like with the coin, I would have been tempted to just keep both. Mm. I think you just want to optimize your damage <clears throat> as much as possible. What do you think about this? The the juggler before the mad scientist. Right. It's it's uh, it's pretty much correct. Like uh, seventy percent of the time or so, when your opponent doesn't have wrath and he only has wild growth, mm -hmm. you disrupt yeah. his turn two play, and then even if he has on turn four, he has to have the keeper as well. And it's, it's not always likely. It does happen in some scenarios because obviously they're mulliganing for it, but most of the time they won't. So if you optimize your damage, you just kill him that much faster. Yeah, that was like the one bad result <laughs> there. For, yeah. Because he had a rot, but no wild growth. Because mm -hmm. sometimes like if they have a if they have a wild growth and a rot, they might just like, they, they might skip, uh, they can play both. So uh, that can be really good. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, now all it did was like uh, just give up really good turn for the druid on turn two. Well, right. man, that well, what, what do you do here? Really you, you, can, you can go for a pretty big face <laughs> turn, but then you lose your Leoc. You don't really want to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I like uh, trading with the Shredder here. Okay. Let's see what comes out of it. That's fine. Just ignore that. Yeah. Face not found. <laughs> face not found. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. <clears throat> um, and then the follow-up here is, is, is you have a lot of damage in hand. Do you yeah. ever? Do you feel, still feel like you still want to weave into hero powers though, or do you want to just no. go for maximum damage? Nah, that's, you that's don't have to do it. Just go for it. I mean, this is a bit like weak to a swipe. Yeah, it's but, weak uh, to swipe, but, but, it, but it's also turn five, so it's not like that optimal <laughs> with oh. the mana. Oh man, there it is. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty I would good. say that. <clears throat> it's more than good. It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know, you get maximum score on DDR. Good just gets you like some points, but perfect. It keeps the combos up. Okay. Wow. Uh, still the face hunter is not not really uh, in too bad a shape. No. 
Man, Six was playing so fast. He just wants yeah. to get this over with. He's also he's been to play. To, he's trying to get rid of uh, the cards in hand. Actually, play quick shot for the draw. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, oh, why he did. Oh, Kazan Mystic comes into hand, wow, but it's a too bit late. late. Yeah. yeah. Has Kazan Mystic been high impact? I remember we saw that one game where oh, like we yeah. saw a Kazan Mystic, and but then the mage Kazan Mystic back. Show versus life coach. Yeah. was brutal for that for show. <laughs> that too. <laughs> wow. Second kill command. Lots of damage. Dogs and uh, get rid of the dogs. Dogs, yeah. dogs and spiders, but doesn't really roll spider. off the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you use the spider to kill the one one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Just to put the druid even more behind. Mm -hmm. Boom such a, well, yeah, such a used, difficult match for the druid. He used both kill commands, mm -hmm. and I mean, you do have a force of nature. Is there? Is it still like the point where you just have to be as defensive as possible, eliminate the minions on board, or can you play Doctor Boom and maybe even go on the aggressive? I think out of these, I think you options. lose to Arcane Golem here, don't you? Yeah, but you gotta play the boom. Oh I my feel goodness. like everything else is just too weak. I mean, there's just no so dumb. much damage. I can't even calculate that fast. I think he's two off. Oh, Squire, what? Wow. That's <laughs> oh, this is cool tech that uh. It's been starting to happen here. It's really good in the mirror matchups, especially. And it's pretty sweet the Clive Zook, I feel, go down once. Absolutely. Mini Scarlet Crusader. Mm -hmm. Or I guess a better mini shield. A bit, okay, uh, mini okay. <laughs> Not so good in this spot, though. No. No. Uh, yeah, I guess it can survive a Boombot Blast? Yeah, but That's about it. <laughs> I remember Garo was testing with this it. for a while. <laughs> yeah, not for long. And uh, he was saying he really likes Argent Squire. Mm -hmm. And it's like an appropriate replacement for Warg and Infiltrator. So it seems like Sixo has the same idea. Or maybe they collaborate together. Mm -hmm. Well, you can get the Druid at two. And that's just good enough. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. I would go for it. I mean, he still has the weapon for next turn. So even if the board gets clear, he can just uh, hero power and yeah. weapon. So the board needs to get cleared. He's and probably he thinking about uh, combo options if it's worth clearing something. Wow. Oh, you're right. If he has Force of Nature Savage Roar, yeah. could he die? And the answer was yes. Yep. Barely. Oh, he takes the actual oh, hit with the Boombot, too. That's interesting. I don't like that. I would have been really tempted to put him down mm. to three. Because I, I can, can yeah. kind of understand the first still have to win the game. Yeah, because he still can like, hero power and use the weapon. But that's a bit weird. Because now, actually, he doesn't have it anymore if, if those get cleared off the board. No, he doesn't have it anymore if he just... Uh, if the Druid just goes <coughs> face. Mm-hmm. And uh, Harrison Jones, I guess. Yeah, okay. Harrison Jones to decline him of two damage or Harrison, deny him. Harrison looks pretty amazing here. I mean, you can see that there's only two damage on the board, so. Right. It's actually like the only one play to survive, I You guess. still die to like a Leroy or Arcane Golem, right? Any charge there, or even yeah. like a Squire. No, not the Squire. Uh, you'd be I mean. safe from Wolf Rider, I think. If you, if you clear. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you die when goes into a 1-1. One, one. <laughs> I think you just Harrison Jones yeah. first, no matter what. I think so, too. Mm. See, what, see what you get from there. Mm, yeah, there isn't too much that you can get that's actually going to impact this turn unless you're running Farseers, which he may be. It's possible. But Someone is running two Farseers in Druid. I mean, Tice used to do it all the time. I'm not sure anymore. No. He's going to shapeshift. Oh, so so he's going to clear? Keep. Why wouldn't you Harrison first? Oh, uh, he's going to Force of Nature clear. I think that's worse. I, I guess you don't die to another weapon top deck. Yeah, this way. So, equal like horn equal bow. so he's limiting equal yeah. horn bow. But I would still like kind of prefer to see it, because he can't kill him next Oh, time. man. Because, huh. I mean, by using that, now if he draws even at the, the roar, it's not enough. Oh my goodness, Cenarius oh, is so good. big, but he can't do that without uh, hero powering and yep. getting out of uh, <laughs> hero power range. I think he would have had <coughs> lethal now if he saved the Savage, I mean the Falls of Nature, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, but he also potentially could have died on board, but I think but you're he, right. But he would have taken the same damage off the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. But then the abusive surgeon would have been too damage. But then it would have been too less from the bow. Like I mean, Sixto just needs to draw one point of damage. Yeah. Just one. Is that so hard to ask for? That's a face hunter. Could be. Yep. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh, man. 
Seek the up next there twice. <laughs> wow. Alesh is so happy to get... You don't understand how bad Druid is against 6 of lineup until you've played against it. It's like yeah. the Mech Shaman, uh, <laughs> the, the the Demon Lock can give Druid's fits, and of course that Face Hunter is really problematic yeah, too. That, that's an awful start for 6. So Druid is exactly the deck that he wanted to punish. Wow. Alesh super happy. He pounded his desk a few times. He's yeah, got that, that uh, Czechoslovakian flavor. It's probably the most important one to get through against Xixos yeah. lineup because there's so many good decks against the Druid in Xixos. Yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. I mean, if if you clear the board, the buffs don't work. If you leave the weapon up, the weapon doesn't work. That's right. true. You brick a lot of draws. <coughs> so would he had uh, lost have then? Because there was still like Abusive Sergeant. Yeah, he actually, have. he would have died. No, no, he, right? he, he, would he, he wouldn't have, have died. The Abusive Sergeant would have, uh, the Argent Squire would have survived. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been enough. You would have been at six if you I did a uh, hero power Harrison, mm. and then you'd have lethal next turn with Savage Roar. I think have been down to like I don't think Doctor Boom would hit into the Divine Shield though, right? No, you just use Doctor Boom to kill the one one. No. Oh yeah, I guess so. You'd be yeah, at six yeah. Slice. If that and was see, no that, no, if you're right, and that's the sequence he wants to survive. Mm -hmm. But I I do think that. Um, Doing it was a better way to survive and still put on pressure because the Doctor Boom hitting face was really important. If you have the 7-7 seven, seven hitting the 1-1 one, one <laughs> for multiple turns yeah. in a row, you're not going to win. But with that play, he kind of kept six or two draws and just I feel like uh, it, w it was a kind of mistake. But it worked out. I him, mean, it so. worked out. So he played around one thing and yeah. ended up being in his favor. And that's yeah. what you need, a little bit of luck and uh, right. a decisive line to play. Is this Mech Mage Mirrors? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So... I oh like, like man, two Mech Warpers. <laughs> I like Jeez. one of the draws way more than the other one. I mean, if he picks up another two cost Mech next turn, oh it's going to be God. disgusting. Yeah. Imagine like a Annoyatron here or something. Or, uh, yeah. Well, All right. um, still reasonable. Yeah, it's, it's okay. still quite good. Most likely one of the mechs will stick so that Tinker Town Technician can guarantee come out. I think out. you actually go face here. With the three damage. I mean, yeah, this is like the one so exception too. of not trading because it's like, how is he going to kill both mech warpers? Yep, if he only had one, then you would have to trade because otherwise there can be like a frostbolt and then it just dies. <coughs> yeah. Pretty awkward like draw it. for 6 0 here. Um, almost everything. I think frostbolt is good enough. Oh. <coughs> they need to get the curve too, though. If you play frostbolt now, Tinker Town is going to be held. That's the Harrison Charm stick. Well, Six is still in good shape just because Mirage yeah. countered the hand so hard. That was a nice scientist, like a lot of value in it. You traded one for one, and that secret is just huge. It's like four mana, three or four mana tempo here. You got a free shredder. Pretty good. Maybe he can come back from this. Yeah, if he plays. If he plays Tinker Town, what are the ramifications of it? Because his opponent will have 4-4, four, four, he can trade. It's bad. Re re <laughs> it's Let's bad. see which one he gets. Yeah, but I think it's slightly better than having a pilot shredder given to your opponent. Yeah, I think so, though. I think that was the right one. There was also a lot of <coughs> nice spare bots that he could have gotten. That's true. I mean, he could have casted, could not have casted any of those just this, just yet, but uh, for the future. I think here you uh, kill both Mech Warpers and Frostbolt down to the Tinker dude, Tinker Town Technician. Mm. Yeah, seems solid. Do you ping? Or maybe you want to leave it up. Just play the Jaka. And select ping it next turn. Yeah. Because then, uh, mm -hmm. then you're going to play the Spire take next turn, too. Mm. Yeah, it's a little risky because of the spare part, but it's fair. Well, what, what spare parts would really backfire? I guess the plus health? Yeah, yeah the plus health. Plus health. Oh. Stealth, maybe. Stealth. Stealth. A lot, a lot of spare so, parts, so actually. Ha so half of them. A few. Half of them, yeah. yeah. Nah. Pretty strong percentage, then. But it's still like, it's a lot of like tempo lost. Well, ma one mana. Okay. There could be also, uh, like if it was a stealth, he could also have a blast mage on there. Mm. Yeah. I but I kind of like it, getting the Chaga out there. Yeah, I think so too, because it's a mech in case you draw the uh, Goblin Blast Mage or the Tinker Town Technician, which is a 4-4 mm -hmm. of a Spire tank. Just having mech board control is really important. Yeah. I actually think you don't time rewind it here, because there's like two things to ping then. Yeah. It's weak to blast mage, but so is everything in this matchup. Yes. Just risk it. Well, that no blast mage, so that's good. Lothar is gonna be really useful. What do you mirror entity here? Because you saw he struggled so much with it. Yeah, I actually like it a lot. I think it would be sweet. Oh, decides against it. Because like the first one was so painful that I, I like yeah, like you said also like yeah. Uh, 
Seemed like a good time for it. But he did draw an Anoya turn right here. Yeah. But I mean, you don't want to play it. So by playing the mirror entry, he would have forced him into a really awkward turn here with the Anoya turn. Mm. It's like turn five is not where you want to play a two drop. Not if, especially because you have nothing really else to follow it up other than mm -hmm. a ping. Well, ping on a snow jagger, I guess that's fine. Man, this is really problematic. Lash has fallen so far behind, despite having double mech warper to start. Yeah, it was that one. Uh, it was one just he got out of range. Like, yeah, yeah the, the the mirror entities were very strong, and yeah, the creature was just slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. And even though he got the double mech warpers, he couldn't really utilize them. Like, if he if he got that one, I know yeah, it's he could have he could have just played it for free into the mirror entity first and then drop a shredder or something. Mm -hmm. It's those small things that really ma can matter. Yeah, the tempo was uh, not that much gain for Alash. You gained like what one mana? No, and, like yeah, yeah, one. I and think. then Sixo gained three. Well, he also lost one from missing turn one. So I guess in the end, that little small advantage snowballed the board. Yeah. All right, swapping that. Sure, why not? Needs Millhouse. <laughs> hmm. Needs a mill house, man of storm, gosh, or doomsayer or something. One time doomsayer would be. Oh, oh man, the patient good. assassin. Yeah. That's like mill house, well, almost as good as mill house, I guess. I think mill house is better. Mill house kills two four, demands something else. And he's got a goblin mm -hmm. blast mage. Uh, okay. With the anointron. Yeah. But uh, the board is rather resilient against the God yeah. Blast Mage. Well, you gotta get really lucky with the Blast Mage. Gotta play it. Three times on the Shredder would probably be the best thing. Or four times no, on the four, Tinker. Four, four times oh, on the tinker. man. Oh, wow! Oh, well, the Money oh, Berserker is pretty decent, wow, too. That's really good. That was a good one. <laughs> that's really funny, man. The RNG worked both ways. Yeah. What to do? It's like you're kind of happy the Pilot Shredder died, but. Also uh, problematic because that's a lot of damage. It's basically in, like a damage goblin blast mage right back. Yeah. Chug a chug. Yeah, uh, it's just something to fill out the curve because there's no good ping, so Harrison's yeah. okay. Ideally, you'd like to draw like you know the small minion and fireball something, but mm. ping doesn't do yeah. anything at all. Just drop the minions, <coughs> but he's pretty much screwed. Now here's the. The, the danger is that the board has snowballed to the point where 6 could be starting to push for damage, especially with Ragnaros in hand, or direct damage that he might draw. Ragnaros coming down no matter what. Yep. It's an interesting tech card in, uh, in a mech match. We usually don't see that. Yeah, what is, what is that targeted for? Freeze Mage, I guess, if he's really expecting it. just it. has to be uh, decks with few creatures, because uh, if you're playing Mech Mage in the later turns, you're usually pushing for face damage. Sure. So if they had a lot of creatures at that point, Ragnaros would be absolutely terrible. Yeah. Most of the time. Most no, of not the, time, all the time, you're right. Not all the time. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you said no matter what. Uh, it's coming down. It, oh. it looks like it's coming down, though, but how do you play it afterwards? I think I like... Um, I think a one trade. You trade the 5-2, the but with that one you go face. Okay. All right. Because now you can't die. Like, if you leave everything up and it hits face, you're going to be dead to a double fireball. Now he's in fireball range. Now, is there some kind of cute play here? Uh, yep. Timer winder on the Goblin Blast Mage, but that doesn't, yep. doesn't have high impact here. Oh, I like it. So he's going to free... Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought he was going to... Freeze Lothar and attack. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. Like gonna but really a bit yoloing. Because if you play control, like at this point, you're just giving him a lot of outs to win. Not to mention the card advantage. I don't think he can win with that. Play. Like, no way. I mean, all yeah. he has is one spare button in his hand. Right, his opponent have four cards. I think he should and, have, like hand his next draw. I think he should have just like frozen the Lothar and go face for ten. Or what did he have on the board? Maybe sure. Maybe ten, but something. Mm -hmm. I guess Mirandi should be. Oh, I okay. guess Cogmaster. At this point, Sixo realizes how far he is ahead. Almost anything guarantees a strong minion to yeah. to attack for the win. Well, that's a good one. If it's oh. a bit earlier. Miracle Boombot? Yeah, you gotta hit four on that. Aww. Oh, I mean, he was he was dead either way, but yeah, to them. I uh, know, unless but he hits this minion for, if for it, four. In in theory, like if he didn't have the plus one attack, if the boom bot kills the four attack minion, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, kill yeah. off the cogmaster, and there's only three plus ping. Well, you'd you'd kill off the cogmaster first. 
Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We improve your Good odds point. on them. Touche, touche. So the series is tied 1-1. Right. It's fast and furious, like you predicted, Crip. Uh, it's pretty fast. It's, it's not quite as fast as yesterday, actually, but uh, still pretty, pretty reasonable pace here. Both players playing uh, aggressive <laughs> decks aggressively. But is it furious? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. As furious as 6 could be? Mm, no. Because I know, I know Alesh is pretty fired up, man. He's definitely more of an emotional player. Mm -hmm. I think they're both quite emotional. Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah. But uh, uh, Sixer doesn't show it as much, man. No, really? he shows it after the game. Yeah, after, after, the, the, game. Game. Okay. after the game. Yeah. You can see some expressions on his face sometimes mm -hmm. with just like some bad RNG or whatever. Yeah, you have to keep in mind, like, these, these players prepare so, so much uh, for these few games, and then suddenly Dr. Boom decides to hit face for 15 the following turn, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just, it really drives you nuts, I'd imagine. Yeah. Like, no matter how much experience you have or whatever. Like you can't just... Oh, wow. All right, so one more time, Mech Mage. Uh, this time against Sixo's Rogue deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> one of the draws is a lot better than the other one. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> you know, God. the saps? I guess they buy time, but... Uh, <laughs> maybe yeah, they, they pick they, up they at least, time, like... So oh, maybe oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's painful. So do you whack the Cognaster? I guess you do. Yes. Relatively innocuous if your opponent drops Mad Scientist, but there is that Snow Chugger. Mm -hmm. High impact versus Rogue. Not to mention Chugger. the buff on the Cognaster. Well, we have that sap for the counter yeah. tempo. You spend two mana for a card, I'll spend two mana, use a card, and play, and play die. a card later. <laughs> You do sap it, Gosh. yeah. Sap, sap really, really is is uh, the only choice here. Even though it's, you know, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I like the attack on the Gokmaster last turn because he could have like poisoned up here. He could have a weapon with deadly poison and one charge on it right now. If he mm. skipped the attack and just uh, like poisoned this turn instead. Mm. Well, he didn't have the shredder then. He thought he'd really have to stretch his hand as long as possible. I guess, yeah. So that's fair. Uh, the deadly poison would have turned out better, but you can't really criticize it. That's true. He didn't have the. So if your opponent uh, had to sap that, you can make a lot of extrapolations of like what they have, right? Cause mm -hmm. Or what they don't have. Or what they don't have, right? Like no like cards. fan of knives, huh? Good cards. Yeah, backstab, no SI7 yeah. agent really there. Yeah. Uh, and as a result, just go ahead and take the board initiative. Now, Sixo thankfully drew into something finally. And again you know into that yeah. thing. <laughs> pilot Shredder into Pilot Shredder, I guess. All right. Something Let's see if it's fair, but it is. There's a lot of good ones. Oh, oh uh, that's not the greatest in no. this, but mm. you wanted a freeze or plus one attack or plus one health or stealth or, yeah, okay, anything else but that. Mm. This outcome I'm sure is going to matter a lot here. Doomsayer, Doomsayer, Doom. Uh -oh. it, should he have attacked before that or no? Do you think it's important to try and answer to what comes out? Because if it was a taunt, then you couldn't freeze a rogue face by yeah, some might chance. Have been Mm. Could do that first. Mm. There's so many different outcomes. Like if it was, it could have been something scary too. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's see. Unfortunately, he can't use the deadly poison this turn for like an easy activate. I guess he could. It's just that he can't attack for an easy activation of eviscerate and clearing the board. So now I guess. What about the sap eviscerate to take the board back? Two three initiative against the Azure Drake. 2-3 again. Uh, Sounds good to me. It's gonna be the, the situation is gonna be the exact same next turn yeah. if he does that. So it doesn't you know, really he, like he won't be frozen next true. turn. Well, that's true. That's what. That's what then he could kill the snow chugger with the croc and the. Yeah, that's true. He he still right. needs. I oh, didn't basically the reverse of that. He still needs to fill the mana though, because next turn he's only got pilot shredder and two, or he's got deadly poison and three. Man, that's, that's snow right. chugger value. Four damage, two freezes, a sap, and a. Crappy combo to eviscerate. <laughs> it's the best card in the game. <laughs> well, this freeze my hand is like so. What to do? What I don't. Do? What, what would you call that? Freeze mage? Uh, sorry, yeah, but I mean the mech mage hand. I, I think it's pretty good. I mean, he hasn't drawn any like mirror entities, or you don't even need the spells yeah. right now. It's pretty slow. A uh, start for the mech mage, but. Uh, now there's like if yeah, you no ever draw Doctor Boom, he can't deal with it. That's true. Both of the saps are gone. Yeah. 
I mean, sap already is an awful way to deal with Dr. Boom, generally speaking, if, especially if you have no board, but yeah. even worse now. Well, I'm not sure. Um, I like six of situation still here. Um, <laughs> just force a mirror entity so you can clear the board a little bit, but you don't have a creature, so... Like, what do you hope to draw right now? Yeah. A prep, I guess. Yeah, prep, sprint. Flurry. Flurry. Just anything that he can deal with the board. But, every, you know, Alesh is being very careful to make sure not to overextend things. Mm. Unless, uh, maybe uh, Pilot Shredder rolls, right? Doomsayer. It's Honestly, Doomsayer. Mana Wraith is still problematic, too, because he has so many minions and he has none. Yeah. <laughs> Pink Royal and Blade Flurry and prep. Ah, prep. Well, okay, so. Should be good for next turn. There is hope. Do you save all of that next turn? Next turn you'll have eight. Yeah, I think mm. so. What if you just kill the 3-4 the, the mech with your Shredder? Because what comes out might just trade for his Shredder. Yeah. It could be a reasonable I chance. Think so. That's okay, because his hand, his hand size is so huge. And, uh, no, I guess he's going to prep Phantom Knives here. Yeah, okay. This Let's is where see. a disaster might come. Right. Or what maybe hope. Out? If it's a 1-1. One, one. Oh! Disaster. Wow. Oh! Oh, that's a good oh. one. That's not fair. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's how you get legendary cards if all you have is a pilot shredder off of your free-to-play account. Wow. So he has no board losing as a rogue. Oh, man. All spells against Two the minions. mirror entity and the Cho. I guess... No, it's actually fine because you can deadly poison SI seven and then start playing. Yeah, I mean, oh, you're right. Play it, Flurry. I mean, <laughs> what, what is the mates gonna do with those? Blingtron. Yeah. Blingtron <laughs> into Doomhammer into deadly poison <laughs> and <Blade> Flurry <laughs> <laughs> with an Azure spell so power. So sick. Oh, oh man, that would that would make that would make this entire tournament. Gosh, he could actually mill him if he does that with prep. Yeah, but then prep, prep fireball. It's like, uh. yeah. Usually you're not like uh, using fireball for tempo though. It's true. Yeah. If they have fireball, you usually lose if they're pushing damage. How many cards does he have? He's got seven, so he just has to do two more spells. Nah, it's not worth it. I guess. I think. I think it might be. Well, you have to play a third card. Here. Because you'd only put him at nine cards with his blade flurry. And you don't really want to give him that prep. That look. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. He is such a troll, dude. Mm. Well, definitely really good plays here from 6 to try to recover the board. Uh, you just so flurry, just go for like double tinker thumbs here. Get those minions out of your hand. What are you supposed to wait for? It's funny though, is it fills up his hand again. Mm. With more spare parts, so oh, yeah. there is sense. a realistic chance that he mill, could mill, mill, mill out the Doctor Boom or mill out second fireball, uh, like another. Uh, well, he could even sprint. Like the sprint is useless for the mates right now. <laughs> like how <laughs> teacher prep sprint? Oh, you can't prep though to give him. Yeah, you don't want to give him a prep either. Not anymore. Uh, yeah. But you do want that extra mana, so that way you can use like Farseer or something else. I think I just like Violet Teacher, uh, Tinker Poison. Oh wait, that's right. The Tinker Sharpsword Oil is relatively useless, so although you can still get three damage on a minion. So you like backstep the Divine Shield off the Anoetron or Pay attention, class. something like that. Just giving it a prep. Say screw it in the prep. Okay. Well, it's not that easy to use, I guess. I mean, it, he can prep like a fireball, but that's also gonna discard the next draw. Yeah, I think he just wants to get the you know, Farseer out here. Okay. Actually, the Tinker Oil being kind of wasted is fine. And the reason that is because uh, if the mage has any hope of playing out his hand, he actually has to ping his own Cho. Dude, this game is actually really wonky. Yeah. What? What is he gonna draw next? What do you think? Is he just give me another mech? What if he draw? What if he's he not gonna draw burn? anything. Damn. Well, that's not too bad. You don't mind losing that so much. Please, <laughs> <laughs> 
Where's my weapon? This is why you play Blink Tron, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> For when you face off against Rogue. Oh, this is so funny. Dude, Blink Tron would be um, ridiculous right now. Like, yeah. The Rogue has a 4 well, 1 weapon I mean, already. How hilarious would it be if that was a milled card? Like, he lost mm. his Blink Tron. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Ugh. Wait, you give a reversing switch to your opponent, too. Yeah, yeah but come on. Let it, you gotta do something. You have to ping the 4 1. He wants so he wants to use his mana as efficiently as possible. That Joe really like added a cool twist to this game. Super awkward. Okay, so he's also got nine damage of burst, right? And is that with or without the deadly poison nine. blade flurry? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got that. He's got uh, fifteen. And then the the uh, Tinker Town's four, so it's nineteen. So let's do that. So what do you guys think? Is he in bad enough shape to just like go for face and hope for a top deck, or do you try to fight for the board and like kill that off, time rewind it, play an Annoyatron and play it again or something? Oh, is he? What is he probing? Fireball? He's gonna fireball the, the teacher. He's gotta go quick, man. He's gonna be yeah. losing time. Uh oh. Quick. Kay. Why is he prep fireballing as opposed to just fireballing? Let's see. There's a lot of things happening when it's not his turn right now. He did get the damage, and I was like... Oh, he wanted to no. freeze the... F yeah. Uh-oh. Alesh ran out of time. And uh, he's not looking too happy. Yeah, I think missing the... Um, the Frostbolt was pretty big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, never mind. Wow, second Blade Flurry. I mean, Rogue is right back in this game. I, I think like you actually yeah. just uh, use the SI7 here. I think uh, Alice should have like, utilized the, the, yeah. the one of the time rewinders last time. Maybe. Like, he could have killed off a minion with if he wants to go for the board. Or, like, just choose a line of play. Like, go for phase, fireball phase, or just to try to get the board. the board. Yeah. That was kind of weird. Like, I don't know. That was definitely a little awkward. And as a result, um, his hand was full just a minute ago, but now it's full of situational yeah. cards. Very <laughs> situational <laughs> cards. <laughs> Extremely situational <laughs> cards. Maybe Sixo has Blinktron and forgets <laughs> what he's donated. Oh. Maybe he has Sneeds, and then Sneeds summons Blinktron, and then you time rewinder Blinktron, and yeah. then you can use Deadly Poison. Wait, was that Flurry. good? Oh, okay, why don't you guys check? <laughs> well, that, that wasn't good. What, what I, I, I feel like there could have been better trades, but maybe I just uh, mis uh, misinterpreted. So the Violet Teacher, or Violet Apprentice, yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, okay. Of course, uh, you know, in this process, we saw Mad Scientist and Frostbolt. So now, Alesh is left top decking, and Rogue's taken initiative uh, onto the board. Maybe That's pretty added, impressive. This is really uh, a good play from Sixo to be able to weather this kind of storm. Maybe Alesh had, like, one unstable portal in there, and he's going to get a fling thrown from it. And uh, Yeah, it seems more likely than the uh, Sneed's suggestion I made. I think so. Okay. Is Blink John really his out? It definitely has to be more. <laughs> Please be there. Oh, and the Emperor as well. So he plays Emperor in this rogue deck. No. Uh, All that direct damage. Yeah. Just play Fireball and time rewinder the Fireball I back. Wonder. Twice. Catch it midair. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he has to play the control game. Yeah, that's not gonna work. No, dude, this is pretty crazy. Although the the mirror entity is somewhat annoying, but still, you can deal with it, and you can play Doctor Boom. Oh man, oh. Alesh taps out, and I think he realized that uh, there was definitely a moment in this game. Where it all went wrong, and it started with that Lord Walker Cho. Mm -hmm. Who knew, man? You really think Lord Walker Cho was my the brother, Lord Walker Cho? I don't think that was the problem. I think that just the blade flurries are really strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm winning just saying, like uh, it was. It's like that's when the problem started happening, though. Like the, yeah. nothing, nothing impactful came off that pilot shredder, mm -hmm. and then uh, he lost the board, and then his opponent started doing. It. I'm not saying Lord Walker, Walker Cho was the reason why he lost. I actually think Lord Walker Cho kind of helped the lesh. Otherwise, Sixo would have been much more aggressive with his hand. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Right, because he would have prepped a little bit more aggressively. Backstabs, yeah, you know. that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, 
Fun yeah. stuff, though. It's quite weird. Like it's, it's it's kind of hard to say like who benefited the most from it. I guess Xixo in the end, but at the, in the time where he got it, it was like uh, it was also kind of hurting him. Mm. Well, uh, that's two one for Xixo. Yeah, yeah, looking pretty good. I mean, if you if you draw double sprint in your opening hand, you still be the mech mage. I mean, how do you lose the series? Two overall? print, two sprints, two saps. Yeah, yeah, and that was a deadly such poison. a terrible opener. And he still won against mm. Alessio's hand, which was. Quite okay, I think. Quite okay indeed, yeah. They certainly get better, but... Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's go into game four and see what these guys have prepared. What was the... Do you guys know the decks that they brought that was oh, special? Oh, this is the first. What's that? Oh, it's a Shaman Mirror, but is it's aggressive. A bug? It's an aggressive <laughs> Shaman versus I think, uh, yeah. Shaman. I heard this is a new class they implemented into Hearthstone. Yeah, it's... it's okay, it's Actually, no, it's mountain. not. Unless it's playing Sledge Belcher. You don't play Sledge Belcher in Mech Shaman. Uh, no, Mech Shaman's the 6-0, the and then Mid-Range Shaman is what Elisha's playing. Double Zombie Chow. Wow. That is amazing. This this class is really good. It's going to work. I think it's actually going to work. Yeah, it's going to get a win here, I think. The Lightning Storm and Double Zombie Chow. And wow. Haunted Creeper. That's a sick hand against the Mech Shaman. I mean, that's, I mean, originally Shaman was one of the most adept classes at taking out some of the early aggros, if you can get a start like this. Mm -hmm. Well, the power mace actually shuts it down completely, so it's fine. Yeah, the power mace helps a lot, but oh. I mean, there's a lot of totems that he can roll here. And, uh, but, but it's it jumps just taunt. Out. Yeah. What are the totems? Well, I guess just taunt. I mean, one one is... Did you miss? No, I hit, I hit the face. I play hunter. <laughs> Pew! Okay. No, right. That'd be really funny, man, if I there's some kind of... Cheese. No, no, don't launch it. We're not ready for takeoff. Oh, mine's ready. ready to take off. Much time to prepare. He yeah, actually zombie she just made a gets completely crushed by that power mace. Yeah, the power mace is really nasty. Not to mention the minion that comes out with it. If you mm -hmm. put out the 5-6 spider tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very reasonable. Now, at the same time, though... I can't... There's no answer to that. Oh, yeah, there is. Double flame tank. Yeah. Two flame tongue totems, okay. so that's why I think it might be safer here. The board's still not exactly secure, yep. and okay, so he's low, playing around low. that. Now it's just as simple as Earth Shock, though, to completely ruin his day. Well, he doesn't have it. Mm. That power mace. It's such a great card in uh, in that deck. Really good for tempo. And what do you think about Lightning Storm here? Mm. Lightning Storm Rockbiter. Might be a bit early, but I mean, it, 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 no. It locks your mana up for two, so yeah. you'll have three next turn. The three mana is kind of weird for next yeah, turn, but it, yeah. I mean, he, he gets to split the spiders here. I think the important thing is because you have Flametongue Totem, you want to mm. totem as much as possible with your hero power. That, yeah, but if, if you leave one creature up, you're losing your flame tongue for nothing. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is also a very good point. Um, I think the Lorak Biter Lightning Storm is the best play. Lightning to themselves, it can be valuable to keep for a little bit later on. But I, I do kind of like that, because then you have three, then you have three uh, minions on the board afterwards. And you, with flame tanks in your hand, you should be able to trade for anything that comes out of them. <laughs> okay. Double flame tongue. That's pretty reasonable, making okay. sure the flame tongues can at least trade. If he has a mech, which he does. Yeah. Plenty of them. Yeah, that's not bad. I got down Actually, I like that play yeah. a lot because Lightning high. Storm is so key against a deck that's uh, board oriented that floods, especially like Mech Mage, and he's he's protecting his health a lot too. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you lose the board at this stage, how do you win? I he's mean, he's not. That's, that's why he's playing these uh, these two flame tongues because he's building his board essentially. Any totem he rolls afterwards. But usually, Lightning Storm from behind, like that's when it's actually good. It's true. Well, you don't have to use but, it like um, I, th I think you can just... Uh, but if he doesn't have to, then he's in a really dumb position. Say he's clearing lightning uh, storms, and now he's picking up really good trades. Also, it frees up his mana in case he draws something good, like four, five or higher. Mm. Yeah. This would have kind of backfire, I feel like. If, if Xixo was to have a rock fighter in his hand and mm. a mech for three or less mana, because then he could have killed both of the flame tanks quite easily. But the flame tank actually mm. gets a trade. So he's going to first go ahead and pick wow. it up. Wow. Oh. oh, that's annoying. Yeah. 
It's really annoying. Although, is there anything that is impact? Lothab can't be played. <laughs> it's pretty amusing. Yeah, maybe it's not bad. I mean, it does slow down both players. I think it's going to be Crackle, though. Crackle on the Flame Tongue. Yep, yeah, next turn you Lothab, then. So you Crackle and then play Spider Tank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems reasonable. What to do? Just keep in mind that the narrow bar might really screw up. Uh, but the narrow bar won't die, so you can't play low them. Oh. Okay. So next turn you have. You'd have to do shredder. Shredder and Cogmaster. Cog That's good too. Yeah, but works. then um, this Emperor Thorson is going to go uncontested. Well, not not uncontested, but mm -hmm. there's no way to clearly deal with him. It's so good if it drops it here. It is, because Lightning Storm for two mana now. Yeah. It's like, that's actually... Oh. oh. Well, I guess this makes sense in a way, but... Uh, what are really now he can play Lothab. Yeah. But then now he can play Thorazin pretty safely, too. I, I guess it, it all calculates okay. Reaver time. Yeah. Fell Reaver comes out on five mana available. Pretty nasty. That's a good one. Yeah, so Emperor yeah. Thorazin... Doing pretty good. And he loses oh, uh, Rockbiter and Doomhammer. I mean, again, essentially, it doesn't matter until he decks out, but if he can stall out the Fell Reaver with, like, Taunt Totems even, it's like, then he can't actually do anything with Fell Reaver, and you lose all threats that you draw. Yeah. That belt's just pretty sweet right, right here. It's uh, it's really Lothab that's pretty sweet, because it's going to make it so Elesh can't actually mill uh, six -a. Yeah. Not with that hand, anyone. I think uh, I think Lothab has to be played. I think it's uh, Lothab Mechwarper. Probably. If you play Mechwarper, you're going to be floating one mana if you play everything else. Yeah, uh, it, you do put out a reasonable amount of damage, though, even more than what you do with Lothab. Yeah. I mean, this deck is really far behind the damage count by now. That's, like, the scary part. But the yeah. nice thing is your opponent isn't up on the cards. Not yet. That's it is, it is a yet. control in right. Shaman, so he probably will be quite soon. Lightning Storm could easily just wipe yeah. a yeah. lot of those things out. You can see that there's only two cards in uh, Alesh's hand, but one of them could easily be a Storm. Okay, he's going for the load. Oh, that's... Taunt Totem is pretty nice. Kind of okay. The best, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. yeah I suppose Healing yeah. Totem would be okay, too. Defender oh. of Argus. Wow. Yeah, that is really big. His minions are like positioned a bit weird. Uh, I guess no, it's like, perfect. No, it's actually yeah. good. Because he can get a lot. That's so good. What were the three cards? I saw Fell Reaver and. Yeah, the other Fell Reaver was down. Shoot the mana crystals. Oops. Let's see. Do we get to see what was ripped? No, there's no log of the discard. If you really, even if you play Defender, it doesn't show. No. Uh, just have to pay close attention. Gotcha. Well, we do know Doomhammer was gone too, and the second Fire Reaver. So there's a lot of bombs that are missing here. A Fire Elemental off the top is pretty nice, though. Yeah, yeah. It sure is. Fell Reaver still doing work. Hmm. Um. Oh, hero it's powers. Playing it slow. Taking it easy. Neptalon oh, off the top. Wow, okay. And he you can, can actually play the hand. I think you Neptalon first. Yeah. Because if, if you can get a bluegill warrior, you can <laughs> you can rock biter the bluegill. <laughs> and wow, you can kill the fire oh, level. That's so funny. That's insane. This is Alesh's favorite card, by the way. He says Neptalon is his number one favorite card. That's such a cool actually, card. Actually, no. Okay, no, you you can only you can't play a Grimskill and a Bluegill. If he had 10 mana, he'd get a Grimskill, Bluegill, Rockbiter for free on the Defender of Argus to clear the board. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, more mills. Oh, uh, my God. That Magnus is, is so much mill. I think you just play the two ones. The two ones and then Rockbiter the... Yeah. Uh, the um, yeah. No, the, the, the totem. totem. The Totem, totem into the, the trade. Yeah. yeah. That's funny, dude. Oh my goodness, Six is gonna lose so many cards. He's only got six left after oh, this. Oh, so it's actually gonna no be No Dr. Boom, no Ragnaros. He's got almost no threats left. He will have no threats left. Oh there my god, he's left. actually got no more cards. There's no way he can win because he's, he's got- out of He's out of cards. And suddenly every single hater against Fel Reaver has been vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, this, I know why this card sucks. <laughs> 
Yeah. And Murloc saved the day. Who would have known Murloc not, Raiders? Not Mur- yeah, Murloc Raiders. That's saved right. The day. Of all wow. things. I wow. used to think that that's a bad card, but I mean, those were pretty good. That's right. This shaman class is amazing. <laughs> Blizzard, well, good we, job we see putting in Blackrock Mountain. We will see more of Fel Reaver. Um, yeah, with with Conquest, we have to see every deck win now. Uh, I, th- I actually think this is this is one of the decks, the the Fel Reaver shaman, to be clear, uh, that most people are actually climbing ladder with right now. Oh yeah, it that's was. the deck that already yeah. got the rank one as well today. Yeah, I think everyone everyone knows that by now. Yeah, people oh, are yeah, rampaging it. with it. I was yeah. actually I was actually just walking outside and it was already you got rank one legend on the billboard. Oh, oh, sick! Yeah, he bought out ad space. Huh? Yeah, that's good. He used his tournament <laughs> winnings to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it's but, a lot more uh, expensive here than Romania to do that though. But it seemed like a bit uh, prone to counters. The mech shaman. Yeah. The one thing that it does struggle against a lot is the face hunter, and uh, really? so I thought it didn't. I thought it, that it tends to outraces it. it. It can. It can outrace. It's just mm-hmm. that it tends to struggle because uh, the draws are just way less consistent. You have so many less one drops, and hunter has a lot of one drops. So if you oh, yeah. fall behind on the board, you don't have lightning storm, and you can't keep up with their damage. Yeah, Especially yeah. if the power mace a minion, you're like, no, I'm dead. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be quite hard to remove those uh, small minions. Mm-hmm. Oh, right. that's model call. That's exactly what you want to ha- yeah. have against Hunter. And then everything else is like, hmm. Uh, I you guess mean? you could be Dr. Hunter Boom. there or something What's else. wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with Dr. Boom. Well, it's a pretty strong card. Yeah. <laughs> 15 face. I guess the only thing wrong Not with bad. Dr. Boom is it costs 7 mana. Yeah. It should be 6. Yeah. You should just like, nerf him. <laughs> like 6 mana, 6-6 six, six with 2 Boom bots. <laughs> <laughs> that would be way more balanced. Uh. I remember, Actually, wasn't it That's there? Admirable said that uh, Boombot should have Taunt and then it'd be a good card? <laughs> like when he was first evaluating, and I thought that was, I mean, it's obviously, it's so easy to yeah. laugh retrospectively, but it's like funny and to think about like, oh yeah, Dr. Boom needed to have those Boombots to be Taunt. I actually think to represent like Dr. Boom World of Warcraft, they should just really nerf him. He should be a one mana, one, one with two Boombots. There are seven, seven. Mm-hmm. Oh, just <laughs> one ones. Three one ones for one. Uh, three one ones. He was not that good in, in WoW? Was Dr. Boom anywhere this good in WoW? He was like just some random yeah. dude with bombs around him. And he was fun because the bombs would never kill him. So you just group up a bunch and like deal damage. Oh, just keep exploding it. <laughs> he was like completely irrelevant for like lore or anything in yeah. World of Warcraft. Gotcha. Which is kind of. But for Hearthstone, funny. yeah. This is Dr. Wow. Boom's game. Yeah, Pop- Dr. Boom's Who's time laughing to shine. now? Yeah. <laughs> Not mm. Illidan. Dude, uh, Alesh, or sorry, yeah, Alesh is stabilizing here, relatively kind of. speaking. I mean, he's drawing well, into, like, cards to stay alive. And he is drawing more. cards to stabilize, but he's playing Demon Lock. So, the, uh, like, Demon Lock needs a little bit of presence to get things going. While Hand Lock, like, with the Giants, you can have, like, a huge turnaround turn. Mm-hmm. The, the Demon Lock, you need you need a little bit more right. already there. This is his new deck, by the way, that he brought to the round of eight. Mm. And you know what if what if he gets to the point where maybe he can play Malganus and Hunter has to not do anything? No, yeah. it can't hit face. What this would is it so do? Funny, by the way, because hu- against Hunter, it's the only matchup where you want to roll low yeah. usually with the implosion. <laughs> you don't want to four because there could be unleashed beast. Yeah, now uh, the trap fetched is explosive trap. Mm-hmm. All right, well, there's only one thing. There's only one target in this game for Sixo. At the moment, yep. Let's keep hitting the face. Yep. There's uh, this is looks like it to be pretty straightforward. Demon lock, no with molten giants like demon hand lock. No, those, those are a little bit hard to fine tune, and like when you go like all over the place mm. like that, it becomes like you know, maybe a bad deck for conquest. Let's say. Yeah. <laughs> Although it, you know, Kalento did really well with it in one tournament. But then again, Kalento does things that don't apply to other people, like play yeah. Priest and win. He can play some really bad decks and still win, so I don't know. Let's see. So is there a way for Alesh to win from this position? He has to draw some kind of defensive card next turn. It's going to be hard. And He can clear the board here with the Beauty Sergeant, but then that only leaves him... A few options, and I think he'd like to yeah. save the coin, right? For Malganis yeah, you gotta wait. Or the, like Malganis is the way for uh, Alesh right. to win. So if he next turn top deck, some, let's say, oh, I think he should have just searching to get the full clear. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, 
Okay. So long as doesn't seem like it have much impact. Yeah, he's yeah. planning some kind of abuse such as big game hunt. He just yeah. needs the coin yeah. from Melganis, that's all. Oh, that's that's a good point. The uh, big game hunter on the Sylvanas might be able to help him with mm -hmm. something. But it's like emphasis on might. What if he just gets a charger with 3-1? Oh. oh, what? Quick shot. Okay. If he he's picks up a second lethal, quick shot, is that lethal? I think that's... Uh, no. That's not gonna One be mana yeah. off lethal. Oh, no, sorry. He had the hero power as well, mm -hmm. so... So Still um, very close. Is heal bot? Is that even enough? Heal bot! Mm, tap. Oh, we can't tap heal uh, bot. That stinks. Yeah, that's mm. game. Yeah, it is. You can't uh, abusive uh, big game your Sylvanas. Yeah. Steal at 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Oh, that would have been a strong play. Oh, why didn't he do that? Clearing the board there. Getting board control. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps up game five. And Sixo takes a 3-2 lead, and this demon lock from Alesh, is it going to be the the weak point? I don't know what classes remain from Sixo. He still has... Sixo uh, has the mech shaman. He didn't oh, win that's right. earlier. Mm -hmm. So that's oh, the man. last deck from Sixo. That's pretty nice, though. I mean, the mech shaman probably plays very similar to face hunter, especially mm -hmm. against the demon lock. It does. It so, does. Uh, I mean, that... That seemed pretty one-sided to me. The problem yeah. is, if you, one, get a slow start and your opponent somehow gets implosion and controls the board, mm -hmm. yeah. you get blown out. The implosion is pretty huge. And yeah. Also, yeah. another thing is that the Mech Shaman is one of the worst decks at recovering from a full board clear. So mm -hmm. if there's like a strong Hellfire or, or something, like if, if Alex right. somehow manages to clear the board once, that yeah. might be enough to take the game. The, the problem with Mech Shaman is also if it ever gets well, to the exactly point... exactly that matchup. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Alesh needs to win with this red anyways. Uh, if it gets to the point where you just need single target removal against Mech Shaman 2 and you have it, mm -hmm. then you can run away with the game too. So wow, that is a slow start from Sixo. He needs to draw perfect from this point on until he can put this Yeti out. That's like, oh, so horrible. That is really bad. He's basically playing off the top of his deck right now. There's yeah. nothing He's essentially holding one card, which is Yeti. Okay. Uh, mm Wow. Oh, that's so rough. And there's like Ruby and Egg with Hellfire, and like there's so many ways to answer. Mm -hmm. Alash is not going to miss his opportunity. But if he draws okay here, uh, Sixo will will have. Oh, <laughs> wow. I think you just go for it. You have to Yeti. There's, you cannot totem here. I think so though. Well, Actually, no, you, you are. Show, you, you can, can totem him yeah, on a track. That's maybe true. you should because yeah. then uh, there's like nothing too bad can happen. And also like the coin, maybe you want to coin out mm -hmm. something else. I mean, this happens yeah, every so it. often with the mech mage. It's oh, sorry, the mech shaman. Okay, let's go with the Eti. Okay. It's a bit weak to like something like power overwhelming model coil, but that's a combination of cards, and you can't really like play around everything. Mm -hmm. He could dark bump the Eti here. I mean, yeah, he's gonna do it anyway later, so. <laughs> Just to get like use his mana efficiently. I actually would love to see that. Yeah. Then, what else would he be coming out here on turn four? Like pilot shredder, and if it does, then you hellfire because only yeah. one mechanical yetis in this deck. Yep. Dude, I think Sixo realizes like, or sorry, Alesh might realize like how weak his opponent's hand must be. Yeah. Uh, also, consequently, how powerful it must be from turn five onwards. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I wouldn't rule Sixo out just yet because. The, the Warlock doesn't seem to be putting up that much pressure or anything, so even yeah, though Sixo's hand is slow, he, he will have like time. Right, right now he might see a Fell Reaver, and that is mm -hmm. going to be tragic. No, oh, Lothab. Yeah, yeah Lothab makes better. sense here. But the Emperor is like, like <laughs> yeah. quite a good card. Yeah, now yeah. Magganus is cheaper, Defender can sli slide in much quicker, yeah. force your opponent to do something about it. Reversing switch going to zero mana. That's also really good against Shaman because you can remove a totem or so. No, here I think you lava burst. If you lava burst, you can play the Fell Reaver next turn. So if you lava burst, what else can you do with your mana? I think you can play the Cogmaster and the Annoyatron. Lava burst, Cogmaster, Annoyatron. Would you freeze I, I, with coolant uh, and then push face with I, like. I, I think I like that actually a bit better. I, freeze. I think you want to keep the <laughs> yeah, lava Duke burst Hammer. for. Uh, for like finishing the game. Yeah, I, see. Uh, I love this with play. Combination actually. Of, uh, Crack also. Yeah. That's now, good. one thing that's nice for Alash is if he knows his deck, there's only one Urshock. So if he puts up a wall of taunts, mm -hmm. like he puts up uh, Antique Antique and Healbot Defender. Yeah, he'll, sorry, yeah, Antique Healbot and Defender. It's like his opponent can't push through. He has to go through the hard way. Oh, that's actually an amazing turn here. 
Uh, it's pretty much perfect, honestly. Right. That he's not running any molten oh, giants. Oh man, now Malganis is cheap too. Seven mana. He can play his Malganis and big game hunt it the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so strong. That man. is amazing. Or even you know, on, on a serious note, if his opponent played like Fell Reaver, he could big game hunter it and play Doctor Boom. Like that's crazy too. And his opponent's overloading every single turn too. So this is like really, really awkward spot for Sixo. Yeah. Wait, what? What? No, that's a misplay. Wait. That's a huge misplay. What did he do? Huh? He attacked into the... He attacked the 4-4 taunt for no reason with Doomhammer and then killed him. Oh, no. I think... Uh, is that going to cost yeah, him? He happened. took so much damage. Wow. Well, that's... that's what that's just happened? happened? That's not something... Huh? Oh. Uh -oh. Should he uh -oh. just drop Malganus or... I think you're still afraid of rock biters, so Malganus would be okay. You can even uh, clear the board with Dark Bomb. Yeah. I think you should flip, you flip your eggs? No, I think you should flip Malganis. Malganis. Oh, yeah, so I guess that has more health. Your opponent doesn't play Big Game Hunter. Yeah. There we go. A little nice. bit more eternal. Dude, this is heating up, and now he can't really get rid of uh, yeah. Malganus. If he didn't do that play, it would have actually die to the Fire Elemental. And, well, he would have taken it. <laughs> actually, no. But you're right. A little bit too much. But you're yeah. right. He could have dealt with Melganis. <laughs> is that game? Yes, That's it game. is. Oh no my God! God. Up, this so. demon lock has pushed through. Melganis saves the day, or I guess Doomhammer saves the day. Yeah. Took so much damage from it. Yeah. Uh, if, if he didn't do the Doomhammer play, uh, Alesh would not have had lethal there. Oh no! So wow. that, that turn was accelerated by one turn because of just uh, pure misplay. <laughs> Yeah, Sixo needs to get this Guys, together for the last Nerves game. are so real here in the quarterfinals. Yeah. I can't even imagine if Sixo chokes twice in Seed Story Cup 2 and 3, where like he was in a good position in the semifinals against mm. you, right, Sabates? Yes, and then, last time. Yeah, and then you somehow pulled out like a miracle opportunity to win that series well, and win right. the tournament. This is the uh, the final game of the match. That's right. It's going to be again with that uh, Mech Shaman. Versus Mech Mage. Mech wow. Mage. And let me tell you, this one is so the, dependent the on turns one and two. decided instantly, yeah. One and two. Oh, Shaman wins, boys. No, hold on. Uh, hold hold on. on. I mean, Mech Ma can, uh, Mage mulligan left. can mulligan. Oh, come no, on. No, coin. we can't. <laughs> he can't do that. I mean, he might That's get right. his own Mech Warper. Anoyatron is kept. Frostbolt. Uh, hello, hello. Well, there is no uh, mech for just yet. Right. So that sucks. Shaman wins, boys. Power Mace is really important, especially against Mech Mage. Okay. It's not that great here. I mean, Tinker Town Technician is still problematic. Four damage yeah. is really hard to get unless you have Crackle and that locks you up mana wise. The Anoyatron does stop the Power Mace quite well. Right. In fact, because he has Frostbolt. And he can get the board with Tinkertown. I mean, mm -hmm. as long as Lesh doesn't keep drawing like this with Archimage and Dr. Boom. Yeah. Rockbiter. Uh, imagine yeah. a Mech Warper here. It would be so good. Well, that's decent, too. That's decent for next turn. Yeah, for next turn. Because mm -hmm. if you can stop your opponent from playing those power cards like Fire Elemental yeah. 2 as the game develops, you'd be in a good spot. I mean, I think One Alesh thing, has a chance. Actually, yeah. I think Alesh is winning. Alesh because is definitely winning. Power Mace has no mechs to target. No. Oh, it's got one mech, and that's. I not think the play here is Lava Burst Cogmaster. I think so. That feels horrible to Lava Burst that and take the overload for next turn. It's alright, because uh, you just Power Mace next turn, it costs you a totem. It is until your opponent plays um, the second no, you're trying to Mad Scientist. Then it's like a little bit more inefficient damage again. Yeah. Mad Scientist is really big too, because almost everything will be guaranteed to get picked off by it. And your opponent can only play Fell Reaver. This is so annoying. No, he can't. It's just three oh, mana. it's three mana. You're right. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Well, There's no way to, to go through on, on three mana, though. Do you save that Cogmaster for the inevitable mirror entity? You should, right? Yeah. That's like the least. That's like the, okay. the least. Should be an uh, okay. damage minion. Nope. He Who's just favors the board. All can come crumbling down. But no Blast Knight. Blast Knight would have wow. been so good. Oh, man. So if he plays the Mech Warper, uh, he can play Spire Tank and Armor Plating and then put the health on the Neuertron. Oh, that's I nice. think you just ping, don't you? Oh, you, oh, you don't have enough him. mana, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, 
I wouldn't be too surprised to see him keep the armor plating for them tonight. As Actually, well, yeah, I, it doesn't kinda, matter. I thought it was going to make yeah. a bigger impact, but... Actually, I actually think that I would like him to play it here. Maybe on the mech warper so we can't fire them until it? Uh, like the, holding on to it for the Antonida seems too slow. Uh, the game is most likely decided by the Reaver boys. Mm -hmm. Do you give your opponent? But he's at mirror entity, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's at mirror entity, so it's uh, like no. he just smashes the face. You know what would be good right now? Cogsmith. Cogmaster, yeah. What? It's a Cogsmith. Oh, he hasn't been upgraded yet? <laughs> wow. Death armor. This is Wait. so bad for six. Though. Although that healing totem does allow him to prevent uh, the ping. Six on. Oh, oh that's, wow! That's that is a actually for a, de a dead draw. Wow, six six or absolutely has to pick up something that he can throw into the meter hand end of the here. Preferably two mana. Something small. Oh, that's uh, that works. Yeah, because you can chop it down. Yeah. Do you yeah. actually like the uh, attack into the Cogmaster? I think attacking the totem and pinging the Cogmaster is better. Or is that going to screw you up later? Because he'd have to use huh. the the creature and the weapon hit to kill your creature. So you'd kill the totem for free. That might have been alright. I mean, he had like nothing to do with them, so... I mean, why not? The healing totem is not that scary, though. And yeah, well, for the future. Oh my goodness. Wow. That tempo. Yeah. That missing six mana was such a big deal. There we go. Okay. Well, that's something. Oh, you just man. hit the whirlwind thing once. Yes. He has to hit it. No, that sucks. Because now he has to ping it, which means he can't play the mirror entity. Yeah. Which means that <laughs> Xixo will get to play the Dr. Boom. <laughs> wow, so much RNG. Yeah, Xixo's going to win this one, it seems. Wow. It's extremely back and forth, but um, those big creatures are just crazy. Yeah. Well, I I if he hit the... Or you could, here. you could take uh, so big. 24 by by leaving <laughs> it up. Wow. <Well. laughs> no? Sounds no, like a bad no. idea. Okay. No. no. Okay. All right. Well, you know, the totem ends up being somewhat useful. Gaining him five health. And Sixo takes a commanding lead on the board here. Yeah, we need some ridiculous boom but on it here. Yep, it's coming. <laughs> Alright, well. Couple of milled cards. Doesn't really matter as long as he's hitting face. Oh man, Anoyatron is actually pretty excellent to stop some of the damage. Yeah. Fits perfectly with the curve as well, so he gets to play the boom. Fall Reaver gets to hit the face twice. If you're willing to discard like six to nine cards to do fourteen dam or sixteen damage, that's amazing. Oh, he's actually just oh. straight. He's gonna play his own Doctor Boom then. Okay. To try to control the board there. I guess it's safer to trade. Just in case unless he's holding like double fireballs. Mm -hmm. Which is not the case. Alright, Boombot save the day. That's nope. So oh, save that the is day. awful. Alesh looks devastated. There's actually, like, he has to just hit the Fire Elemental now, right? Otherwise, he just so. dies? Uh, His other hope would be to use Pilot Shredder. No, he can't. Should he play Pilot Shredder first? What to do? What I kind of like do? pinging Sixo's bot at this point. So it hits your bot and then kills the Fire Elemental. But you want your bot to do the one damage, though, to the Noyatron at least. Mm. Pilot Shredder might give you something to stall. Right. It's now or never. This is a legend tournament life on the line. Dope. Oh, yeah. oh that's something. It's <laughs> not the worst, guys. <laughs> so sh should he play the clockwork now for the spare part for Antonitis? No, I guess he doesn't have enough mana and time to do that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Fell Reaver number fell two. Reaver. Frostwolf that Grunt song. saves the it's day. It's like two six right here. Oh, you he can't play the Fell Reaver. He can unless, die. unless, no. Oh. Nope. Now it's a two seven. Wow. If he plays the Fell Reaver, he loses. He could potentially lose. How could he potentially lose? Double Fireball. To do. 
But that's game right there. Oh, you're right. Yeah, well, looks like that's it. And uh, Sixo has managed to stabilize and go to the round of four. What a breath of relief yeah, for him. what a close one. Sure was. Absolutely insane. As it uh, looks like you're going to shake hands, but a great moment for Sixo as he once again repeats top four for Seat Story Cup. Yep. But, you know, Hearthstone's all RNG. Yeah. Competitive Hearthstone's a joke, so. Yeah, we asked yeah. we asked Life Coach the other day <laughs> uh, how he does so well. It's just He just gets lucky. Yeah, mm -hmm. So maybe Sixo has figured out the strategy. It is. It's to hit the hit yourself in the face with Doom Hammer. Oh, that's a good strategy, I think. Yeah, yeah. Have you what? tried that, Savitz? I think you lucky. did. That's what you did last season, Story yeah, Cup, I right? Was, I was, like, getting yeah. lucky a bit. It worked out that time. This hey, time hey, our, our interview first, Orange. Come on. It's 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 that Hearthstone adrenaline uh, it flowing is. through <laughs> Sixo's veins right now. Nothing quite like that dopamine. Yeah, yeah. Wow, Sixo, sit down if you can, man. How are you feeling right now? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty Eloquently good. said. Yep. You know, Sixo, talk to us a little about that series. It seemed like there was a lot of like ups and downs. Like some games, you drew awful. Yeah. I mean, you actually like just the worst yeah, possible. Yeah, the road hands. game, we we had we had no. Road game was for terrible. You. The, the beginning sprints. of that game was also really bad. Yeah, the beginning. Like, the shaman has like five or six high mana cards, and I had like all of them in a starting hand. Mm -hmm. But power mace is really really good against mech mage. Yeah, and I got good value of that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, there was a little bit difference in the round of eight. You have an extra deck. Uh, that makes the field a little bit, a lot wider, actually, to have five decks overall. Is there anything, like, that you prepared specifically, or did you feel, like, just comfortable? Because a lot of people complimented your strategy for the tournament, saying that you had one of the best. Well, like, I knew was the added deck is Warlock. I was expecting everyone to play Imkank boss if they had Warlock. Yeah. So I was, like, so sure that he plays Zoo that I mulliganed for Zoo, and just, like, went pass. He will be an egg tap. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. That uh, I mean, he also managed to take a game with that, so it ended up being the mech mage at limiting factor. Yeah. Do you have any questions, Sweets? Not really. Oh, did you? <laughs> what happened when you yeah, hit that? With the, with the misplay? Oh, the doom hammer. Yeah. The doom oh, yeah. Like, you, you would have had an extra wait, turn if wait, you wait. didn't. I attacked with my doom hammer first, mm -hmm. and it was like I had my fireman on the left and like a totem on the right, and his minion was the left one as well. So I attacked with doom hammer, then queued my fire elemental into this 4-4, but while I queued that, my face was over the fire elemental, so that one attacked instead. Wow. Oh, so you played too fast, and then yeah, it, like, like the uh, animation, okay, gotcha. My face, my face hovered over my fire elemental when I was trying to queue my fire elemental attack. Oh, that's Oops. funny, man. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down, man, please. Yeah. Take your time. <laughs> yeah, I just slowed down that first game as well. I was playing around coin combo, and after that I realized I went second, I had the coin, so... Ah, oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I do, I do remember that. It was, that. A big it was yeah. <laughs> Last time, uh, oh, did you have a question? I was, I was just gonna, I was gonna throw it into that. Really, some of the uh, some of the most spectacular games came from like just terrible, terrible starts, and uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's pretty pretty nice to see. Um, specifically, the rogue game, uh, just because. Oh yeah, yeah double well sprint, double step, starting. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, because it's it's mech mage that needs a really good uh, start compared to your opponent, and you didn't have it. So sometimes, uh, you know, the draws really work, and uh, it's, it's pretty amazing yeah. to see it. I think it's it like in action. everyone always talks about the good draws and how you can play a mount Hearthstone becomes like that coin flip, so to speak, to play good draws or who gets better draws. But I also think the mark of a good player is what you do with bad hands. And I think uh, you did really well with that, so props. Uh, now this is the second time in the top four in Seat Story Cup. Last time you got stopped by Savitz, right, in the top four. Yeah. Is I this your tournament to win, man? Because I think you're going to go on to the semifinals, My too. issue is... Like uh, yeah, yeah. I want Oscar Card to win more badly than I want to win myself, so <laughs> playing in Sim and semifinals yeah. isn't a good thing, but oh well. For, former Root teammates, right? You guys yeah, go back, like, I travel to America He's together. He's like a really, really good friend of mine, but whoever wins that semifinal is going to win the tournament for sure. It's for also sure. The, it's also the sure. battle 100%. between two ladder gods. Not even Dr. Room can get in the way of that plan? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Six, so we don't want to take too much of your time. Congratulations, you're in the semifinals the second time back-to-back -back top four, and hopefully you can go all the way. So uh, that that does it for this last quarterfinals. Yep. We will head into the semifinals yep. after uh, a Getting short more break. serious, man. It's more money on the line. Actually, I don't even know how much money, money the guys get. 
It's it's definitely four digits. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good enough. We'll, we'll check it out. That's that's good enough, right? Enough, enough to like. It's worth playing Hearthstone for four digits of, yes. of money for a weekend. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Well, we'll see who starts uh, taking uh, home most of the change and uh, come up with the uh, semifinals when we want to 